So welcome back for another video from TDL DIY. Again, we have a 2013 Mazda 3. Uh, this will work uh, for Mazda 3s uh, from 2010 to 2013. The body styles are exactly the same. Also, uh, what we're gonna be doing today is uh, changing the engine filter. So it's very similar for all makes and models. You just have to find your air box, which is usually on the right about here or on the other side of the vehicle. Um, and they all look pretty much the same. You're gonna have a big air hose coming off, uh, potentially a sensor, and a couple clips. <clears throat> so it's very, very easy. There's no point of paying a mechanic or a shop to do this for you. I don't know, they might charge you X amount for labor. Uh, I know here in Canada, depends on what city you're at, probably $100, $150 an hour. Now they're not gonna charge you that just, just for the air filter, but I can go to Canadian Tire, Parts Source, or any part, uh, part stores in Canada or the United States. It's very, very simple. You just go buy the filter for your vehicle. Um, you either tell the guy at the counter this is what you need or in some places like Canadian Tire you can go to the computer type in your make and model and they'll tell you exactly what filter you need so for the 2013 Mazda 3 I'm gonna show you how to replace it it's very very simple uh, so uh, without further ado let's, let's get going so on uh, this vehicle there's only two clips you just pull one, two, pull them off to the side. To make it a little bit easier, I'm just gonna remove this little, uh, this little clip here. So I just took a pair of, pair of pliers underneath, squeezed these two together and pulled it up. Uh, the reason why I took it off, it just gives me a little bit more room to pull it out and get the new filter in. Uh, in this case, uh, I believe my filter is probably pretty good. Uh, I changed it not too long ago, so I won't be changing it. But we'll take a look. So that's all you do is lift up the air box a bit, grab your filter, and just slide it out. It's that easy. Now just take a look at your air filter. Again, like I said, I changed it not too long ago. Uh, my air filter is very, very clean. Um, it's not. There's not too much dirt or dust or debris in there. If these uh, air slots get filled up with dirt or bugs or any any type of pollen or any any debris you probably want to change this out because um, you don't want all that all that stuff getting sucked into the motor it's not good for the engine and you'll preserve the life of your your vehicle a lot longer and all it is you know I believe this filter is $25 uh, Canadian roughly um, this is a Fram Fram filter I find they're very good. Um, yeah, so to to put it in, it's the same way you pull, took it out. You just lift up the box, slide in the filter. Just move move that clip out of the way, and might have to lift the box up a little bit, and should seat in there just nicely. Oh, I see the problem. There we go. There, it's all seated nicely. Now we're just going to, there's a couple little tabs here. Make sure it seats in the back, like so. And then just push your tabs in. And since I took this out, I'm just gonna push it down. And that's it. It's very simple. So if you like this video or any of my other videos, feel free to give it a thumbs up or uh, Feel free to subscribe if you really like it <clears throat> and uh, keep watching. I'm going to have some more videos weekly or maybe, maybe not weekly, maybe a couple weeks or uh, maybe a couple days from now. So I'm going to load a couple more videos up. Uh, hopefully you like this video. Again, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day.